Hi, welcome back. I'm glad you could join me today. And today I have one of my little friends here that's having lunch while we're doing this, so I thought I'd share her with you. This is a little baby fox squirrel, and she's just having a little lunch with me. Ooh, what's there? Too much? Huh? There. Isn't she something? She's only a few weeks old and just as cute as a button. I thought I'd show her to you today. There. Alrighty. Enough of that. This is just one of my many friends. I'm going to set her down and we'll get started here. Okay, if I can get her off my shirt. There. They have about 9,000 claws and they can all seem to grab you at once. Alrighty, tell you what. Come on up to the canvas. Let me show you what I've got done today. Okay. There. Get that edge a little better. See there? Very gentle though. Just barely, barely caressing the canvas. Barely caressing it. I want to I introduce you to a fantastic peekaboo squirrel. But isn't that the cutest little thing? Watch what's in there. What is it? Peekaboo. <laughs> he likes to sleep in my hand. In fact, once you feed him, that little rascal will sleep just about anywhere you put him. But look at the size of his foot. It's no wonder they're so agile in trees and stuff. With that a foot that big, you can run up and down any old thing. There. Okay. But I like to just watch him sleep like that sometimes. There. I like to put these little dark areas in because it makes all kinds of nice things. There we are. Something like that. We'll put a little. But by now you should see how we make them. I want to I introduce you to a fantastic lady while I'm finishing up this little mountain. This lovely lady's name is Cindy, and she's right outside of Orlando, Florida. And she allowed me to come out and, and film some of her animals. And this is a, a little sandhill crane. And they think when it was in the egg, its neck got twisted up. And it probably will never be able to be released. But gorgeous ladies like Cindy devote their whole life to just taking care of God's little creatures like this. She has all kind of creatures out there. If you saw the owl earlier, that belonged to her. That's a baby that she's getting ready to release. Probably by the time you see this, he'll be out and living on his own someplace, having a good time. But I'm, I have the greatest admiration for people who devote their whole lives to them. And see, here's Cindy showing me the biggest squirrel I have ever seen in my life. This is called a Sherman fox squirrel. And he's as big, well, he's as big as a small kitty cat. So, and very docile, very quiet little squirrel. And this one is, is quite a pet. He belongs to my friend Cindy, one of the rehab ladies that lives around Orlando there. And she takes care of him. She's turned him loose several times, and he won't go away. He's sort of like one of my squirrels that I have. I keep turning him loose, too, and he comes back. But now this squirrel's big enough, he knocks on the door and comes on in. His name is Little Bit. But isn't he something else? There. Okay. That's about all I'm going to do on these mountains. That's a very simple little mountain to do. I think you'll like it. Prussian blue. Thalo green. I like Thalo green. Put it right in there and put some crimson in with it. Ooh, a lot of nice rich, rich dark color. Let's make some trees. Grab the old fan brush and we'll just fill it full of color. A lot of color in it, both sides. Okay, let's go right up here to the canvas. Big decision time in our world does now. Lives a happy little tree. I'm going to push upward. Make little pushy up trees. Just use a corner of the brush, push upward. That thalo green in there just gives it a nice little effect. I like that. Painting is such an individual thing. Even from day to day, my mood changes. What turns me on one day may turn me off the next. There. Tell you what, you know, it's interesting. In the last series, in the last series, we showed a little baby owl. I hope you've seen that. He was about so big. He was just a little ball of fur. In fact, I think I remarked that he had the same hairstylist as I do because he was nothing but a ball of fur. Look at this rascal. He's now a full-grown owl, and he is absolutely beautiful. I sat and talked with Hoot for a little while, and 
little nervous getting in the cage here. That son of a gun's got some big toes. Look at the claws there. I am so fascinated with these little creatures, and I hope you are too, because I like to show them to you. Scratch in a few little sticks and twigs, and your masterpiece is finished. Hope you've enjoyed this one. From all of us here, I'd like to wish you happy painting, and God bless, my friend.